patch notes, you say? There's more patches. Uh, looks like it's mostly just balancing things that I don't have a lot of context for most of the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of bal balancing things. Some unique visuals. What did it do? Okay. I don't have the most context for those things to be interesting yet. So we will move on with our life. Oh, I want a rematch now. Well, good luck. Or, I mean, yes, you will. Yes. I, um, hello? Hi, punk. Oh, I just knew that you'd be back soon as I heard you face the champion of Elysium himself. You know, I've heard that among mortals, it's an honor to be killed by somebody like Theseus. Keep it up and maybe you'll be famous too. Maybe. Maybe I'll be famous too. <laughs> I'll just spend some of these gems with the house contractor. Who's the best three-headed boy? Cerberus merely feigns concern for you. Jeez. Fane's concern? What a dick move. What a dick explanation. But obviously that's not true, because he, like, thrashed this place when I was gone. How's everything been going lately, boy? What's the good word? <laughs> the Underworld Prince's casual inquiry serves but to frustrate the Infernal Hound, as none of his three heads possess the gift and curse of speech. <laughs> He's back already, Cerberus. Just as I indicated. I'm standing right here, father. I'm sorry he disturbed your rest again, Cerberus. You've done a good job. The realm is well defended still to the high standard that you set. Aw, now I feel bad. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Look what I got for you, boy. <laughs> As one of Cerberus's heads receives the prince's gift, another muzzles something back into his hand. Thank you, boy. Wait, you're, I think you're supposed to keep your collar. <laughs> it was an old one. The fearsome... it's not new. Yeah. A little gift to stack on. Your dice? Mortality and immortality are closer than gods care to believe. There are such minor gods as can be killed. So it is with nymphs and all the naiads and the dryads and the like. The spirits of the wood and seas and skies. In life, they captivate our mortal senses and imaginations. But in death, we are all more alike. Damn. Hey, Skelly. Others of note. How, did, how are these categories made? Dionysus. This may explain why he, among Olympians, is so well loved by mortal kind, because he loves them back, bringing to them more joy than suffering, for the most part. That is unusual for a, a god. In most mythologies, a lot of them are real pain. Bloodstones. The world itself is alive, in a way. Is it not? Even the realm of the dead. All of us here. The world with it. We flow through time as blood flows through mortal veins. Look carefully and you shall find that there is power, feeling, in the earth itself. And, like any power, it seeks to be claimed, to be held. With all this in mind, as well as due to appearance, I suppose, do bloodstones take their name. The master himself keeps several of them, perhaps for therapeutic reasons. He has even taught the prince the way to make their crimson facets ignite in an angry glow. Chiron's or Orbal. I'm never going to get that pronunciation right. It, there's so many variations in my head that I can't remember which one never sounded right. The underworld is best known as the domain of death, but is also the domain of countless wealth and riches sent into the river Styx along with the deceased. Centaur Heart. The equine centaurs are well known for their unlimited endurance, and although their reign has long since passed from mortal realm above, their resolve lives on 
within the underworld. We can actually do things. I have 62. I got chonks. I don't think any of these matter, right? Uh, you can get a fancy bed for your dog. That is kind of a priority, isn't it? Yeah, I think these mostly don't matter. I think this one, this screen is what matters. I can afford all of them? No. I can afford four of them if I want to get the expensive one. Chambers may contain urns with five ovals. Switch keepsakes between underworld regions. Oh, so it adds a keepsake to that area. Chambers may contain an infernal trove. Makes the fates prophecies come to pass and be rewarded. That just sounds like a whole mechanics. I'm curious about that. Here are the gems. The fated list of minor prophecies. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. You requisition that useless bit of parchment. Okay, so I can buy. I was worried. I was like, can I buy more than one or not? All right. Fountains provide 10% more health than usual. Yes. The ever shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. You are distracting me. Hmm. Ah, oh, more and more healing. I don't know if I have enough keepsakes to want to switch them out that badly, so let's do the Infernal Trove. Let's make it happen. I'll have to keep an eye out for this next time out there. Huh. You need not listen to him, Contractor. None of those renovations... Huh. Maybe you're just not... Maybe I have to get further in the game. This didn't play out the way I thought it would. Did I buy this or just save up for a different one instead? Eh, it's, I mean, I might as well just get everything right. Switch keepsakes between underworld regions. Here you go. I'll be on the lookout for this when I'm in the area. So wasteful of my realm's resources, boy. Yeah, because it unlocks new things. It restores some hearts amid the searing hate. The fountain chamber, Asphodel. Added chamber. Restore some heart amid lush environs. So there's like a branching tree here, so I want to buy everything I can just to get to the other stuff, even if I don't know what it'll be worth. But no, my surprise is I thought that... I, 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 oh. Hey, the lounge is open. I didn't buy a lounge, did I? Oh. So I thought this guy was going to add new things to this. Like I thought he I thought buying stuff was going to add the map chunks. Is this one open? This one's not open yet. I thought that that was what I was purchasing there. That I'd have to buy the rooms of this area one by one. But I think all of those as far as I can remember were all changes to the seeds of the world, the randomization. So maybe you hit a milestone in purchasing work orders and it unlocks this place, or maybe I just hit a milestone in playing the game and it opens this place. I mean, yeah, like, uh, last run when I got the shield, they gave me Poseidon's summon or call, and that was my first time having that mechanic. So maybe this run is when they add the lounge, and so maybe it is just the more you play, they, the more they add certain parts of the screen. And you don't always are, you're not always in control of that, I guess. I totally thought that I was going to be responsible for for building things up with those guys, but they built they they just affect the maze. It looks like. Hmm. Achilles, sir, I got a relic of some sort out there, a globule of ancient blood which formed after I fought with Megara. Is this really the Titan's blood I found? As far as I know, yes, lad, that it is. Though who's exactly, I'm not so sure. You best hang on to it and keep it safe. Your weapons. They shall thirst for it, and drink it up. Not yet, perhaps, but soon. Well, I wasn't about to drink it. Ah.
Is this updated? I think this updated. I see no reason to regale you with stories from my past. Suffice it that I fought as bravely as I could, alongside many of the finest men the world has ever known. I buried far too many of them, and sent many others to this place, where now, at last, we all are peers. I am fortunate that the master of the house took pity upon me and spared me from eternal boredom in Elysium with an existence closer to the times when I still lived and had a job to do. So it sounds like those boss items are upgrades for my weapons. So I have context for that now, because I was just collecting them and they were just taking up space in the bottom right corner, but I wasn't sure what they were for. Yeah. I trust that the mirror in your bedchamber has proved satisfactory, dear child. Better than I could have possibly imagined, Nix. You mentioned there was something more that it could do once I had grown accustomed. I think I'm ready for that now. I think you are as well. Then it shall be as you wish. Thank you. Mirror empowered new talents. Oh. You don't have to just unlock them all with keys, apparently. So, in-universe, that's interesting, that mirror is like, it's kind of subtle, like it looks like it could be there just for normal mirror reasons, but it's actually placed there by Nyx to empower me to escape. It's what, like it's, it's, it's meant specifically for its ability to power me up. Is that a bunch of nectar? How goes it, Shanes? No parent should outlive their child. Glad I didn't. <laughs> uh -huh. A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. There's a vendor here. This goes for a while. Look at them cutting things up. Look at them go. Is that onions? Yeah. Those are some chonky... Uh, onion or radish? I think it's an onion. Oh. Dude's got moves, but he does not cut them up very much. Well. That's a reaction. You can see the gouge marks everywhere from Cerberus. He destroyed this place, and they kind of haven't fixed it, actually. Oh, the prince himself. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, uh, just wanted to say, don't bother picking up my room today. I'm headed out for a while. I, 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 I have to clean the rafters. I... Thanks for all your hard work. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dusa. A splendid house, such as the Master's own, requires a great deal of cleaning, and the little Gorgon seems forever doomed to do it all herself. With like a... She's like a little like snake tendril on her head to like use tools, because she doesn't have any limbs. Maybe somewhat of a cruel choice of person to have to do that job. Oh, I'm just gonna intrude upon your space, Chef. How you doing? has a lot of onions to go through. Maybe onions, I'm not sure. Greetings, broker. You can uh You can buy a nectar for 5 keys. You can buy a key for 10 gems. You can spend 10 nectar on a diamond. So those diamonds are valuable apparently cuz nectar is pretty Nectar is pretty rare. I've only gotten like twice as many nectar as I have diamonds, but Exchange right here is severe. Now I can trade 15 keys for a Titan's blood. Limited time. Once per escape event. Ah, so this will this will also not be here next time. Not that I can... There's no FOMO here. I can't get it regardless. But that does mean that, yeah, those, the, those, those items like, like Titan's blood, they don't drop from specific enemies. Oh, diamonds are for higher-end renovations. Okay. I wasn't sure what the diamonds were for. Hmm. Infernal arms and... Yeah, that's... We already know that stuff. 
Harnessing aspects of infernal arms once worthy. So I have to like earn access to higher end parts of weapons. Can I inspect this picture up here at all? Nope. What are you, employee of the month? Probably. Hey, that must be the fated list. This is the Oracle. The fate abetting prince perhaps believes it was through his own choice that he procured the fated list of minor prophecies, but it was preordained. Oh no, not this determinism thing again. What do you know? This came true. Oh, I've already accomplished it? Just met all those people. You meet all those people, you get three nectars. Oh, this is a big rewards thing then. I thought this would be a challenge run thing, like, here's your challenge run for today. If you can accomplish this, you'll get this reward during today's run. But it's it's more like an achievement list, isn't it? So if you meet seemingly everyone, you get three uh, nectar. That's a lot of nectar. Family seems an interesting lot. Wow. Distant relatives, the son of the god of the dead shall someday meet some of the rulers of Olympus. Some. Is there no escape? The son of the god of the dead shall someday break free from the realm which he was born. So get a thousand experience for winning once. Chthonic colleagues. The son of the god of the dead shall someday meet the rulers of the underworld. I've met five, but there's four to go. The son of the god of the dead shall someday earn various boons of Athena. Ooh. Oh, it's a get every single boon achievement list. Huh. God, those are really big lists, too. So that's incentive just to try crazy things out, essentially. I could make, keep a physical list, although it'd be really tedious because there's so many per each one, apparently. That's crazy. You only get three options at once, but look how many there are. Hmm. This is, a. Uh... It's interesting because I have, like, the instinctive react... I like build habits up and want to keep getting the like the certain power ups that have worked really well in the past, but this incentivizes me to get every single thing once, which I also have to figure out how to even get that far down the tree. Probably just getting the same person over and over again in the same run. Yep. This is new. The son of the god of the dead shall someday acquire each of the ancient weapons used to slay the titans. So I have two weapons, there's four to go, and then I get 60 gems. Hmm. Oh, Daedalus, D D Daedalus upgrades. For Stygius and Aegis. So if I, so there's, you can also get the uh, every single hammer upgrade for each weapon, which is also a long list, holy crap. Chthonic knowledge, I'm almost there. Son of the God of the Dead shall someday reveal a portion of the Underworld Codex entrusted to him. I'm pretty far along there. So I'm guessing it's also keeping track of other... I mean, I'm sure it's keeping track of everybody. But it's only showing me people that I've made certain amounts of progress with, maybe? Although I'm sure I've done at least two of other ones, so maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't want to overwhelm me, so it shows me the two that I'm closest to succeeding at. Which is not that many of them, because I haven't done that many runs. The first episodes are coming out, and I guess some people are surprised by how far I made it in the first episode, so maybe I'm not trash at this game. I feel like a clumsy mess. The mirror's grown in power. Thank you, Nix. What happened, though? Swap talent. Press A to activate dark regeneration instead of Chthonic vitality. What? Other side. Oh. Restore some of your hearts when you collect experience. 30% of the collected amount per rank. So, a room commonly rewards you with 10 experience, so you'd get 3 health every time that happens. But that's instead of getting an amount for every... That's instead of getting an amount for every room you ever enter. It's true that this could quickly get higher. It starts at 30%, so if you get more, it could quickly outnumber that. Crap. There's literally double as many talents now. You just have to... But they're all mutually exclusive. 
This in that's interesting. I was curious what the fuck was going on because I was running out of things to buy and I'm like, I guess Death Defiance will take a while to save up to, but geez, like, it's gonna take a while to get those keys and I'm, I'm basically out of things to buy already. But there's a whole separate tree for each one and that one also has to be leveled up separately. So deal bonus attack and special damage when striking undamaged foes, 15% per rank. Oh, <clears throat> I can make undamaged foes just a thing I always have. But that, ooh, that backstab is strong, though. Death Defiance, that's gonna be hard to have incentive to not want. Restores 30% of hearts instead of dying when your total life is depleted one time per chamber. Oh. I mean, that's just better, right? Let's see, 50% of hearts instead of dying when your total life is depleted one time per rank. So right now I have one death defiance. And it gives me half health. This gives me less health. Oh, it's expensive. 600 for the first rank. But this is infinity. I, uh, not infinity, but... I can get a revive every floor, which helps my longevity in getting through each area. Although I have... If I die once, I often die a second time in the same room. But uh, in particular, during boss fights, is when the, this might be weak. Is that if I have a bunch of Death Defiance stacks, because I get that feat, for example, and stuff like that, I could potentially have like a bunch of lives stacked up, so I can fight one boss for a long time, like in Fury. But with this... Hmm... Oh, never mind, it's not even weak in that way. I was like, one time per chamber, that's really often, but I thought that the percentage was going to go up and it was going to heal me more, and that was going to be what I was upgrading, but no, when you upgrade it, it becomes two times per chamber, uh, so it's even stronger. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this is just stronger, more or less, but it's super expensive. I can't afford it at all. Greater Reflex, this is a bonus dash, then it becomes gain 50% damage and dodge for two seconds when you dash just before getting hit. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not really using the um, the double dash very well anyway. I kind of accidentally button mash and spam it anyway. So having it give me a, bo a boost could be really strong. Boiling blood, deal bonus attack and special damage to foes with the thing in them. I don't love this one. Reduce move speed and damage of foes with the thing in them. 6% per rank, ah, oh, it's it starts slow. Neither of these are my favorite. Increase your supply of things. I love that. That's my favorite. That's probably my most used one here. Regenerate your... Uh, so rather than picking it up, I get it back faster. One second faster per rank. So I get it back every five seconds. Is it five seconds after I throw it or five seconds after I spend... I don't know if it means five seconds after I throw it or if it means five seconds after uh, it finishes its effect. But that still could be really helpful, especially if I go unlock the, uh, the bow right now and I'm playing ranged, then I don't necessarily want to go ch chase down my soul thing. Ah... Uh, but I, it does not increase my cap. I, I lose my cap. So I can't have a bunch of them to throw around. I don't know, that trade-off might be worse. Hmm. I think I'm gonna start out with Ruthless Reflex. I can see the dash being stronger, being worthwhile. And that spends a lot of my gems right here. But I can't afford this one. I don't totally love this one. It makes your first attack stronger against enemies, which can be really good. Maybe. If I'm using a bow, I'm not going to be attacking people from behind that much. So maybe. So it's plus 60% opening attack. Because yeah, I think I'm going to go pick up the bow and try that out now. This is a long intro, but that's the kind of game it is. You can definitely see why they slowly layer these mechanics in. One, it makes you each run feel fresh for quite a... What's this? Oh, you can respec 
for like one key. Maybe it goes up each time, or maybe not. Maybe they're just nice about it. Okay. We're getting new capabilities. Yeah, on one hand, the game's so mechanically dense that layering these in slowly makes it so you don't spend like four hours before your first run figuring all the game out. But also, it helps deaden the blow of starting over when you're like, oh, new things to check out. I'm all curious. Which I think is probably one of the big driving forces of this game's popularity. And, you know, Supergiant always finds a way. Need some practicing? You're getting pretty strong, I'll give you that, boyo. Strong enough to smack a guy like me right up against the wall and I'd go straight to pieces. Boom! You just remember, when you're duking it out, the walls are your friend. Smack guys against walls. Sound advice as ever, mate. Yeah, I was noticing, I was noticing that wall damage pop up. Oh, I can afford the Bident. Oh, it's tempting. I'll use the bow this time, though. I already picked talents based on the idea that I was going to pick the bow. Open up. Coronat, the heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Care for a warm up with that? Oh, please. Does this reload? I don't think it does. Uh, I don't love these controls, actually. Can I fix them? Oopsie. Oh, not master volume. I could use a, I could use a little more for editing purposes, a little more emphasis on the voice. There we go. Let's see. The bright cursor, that's a nice feature to have. But I don't use that. It's not in here. Controls? Attack at cursor, aim assist, dash at cursor. Um... I don't think there's an alternate control scheme. That's a little disappointing. So what's going on here is you aim, you move with left stick, and then you hit the attack button, and the same thing controls my attack still. Whoa. I want, I kind of want to be able to move with my left stick and aim with my right stick. I keep instinctively trying to use my right stick to aim. So I've got to be like, I've got to be like, so so if I'm running from people, I'll be like, I'll, running, I'll be like running this way, then I'll turn around and attack this way. I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll get I'm sure I'll get used to it, but I definitely wanted something else. Hmm. What's that one there? Oh, old spike collar. Just straight up get five more hearts. Ooh. Or twenty-five more twenty-five more health. And when it levels up, that means you get more of that. This is now plus six. Was it plus four before? I don't remember. I'm so trash. <laughs> the next boon you find will be from Dionysus. Blessings have a 10% chance to be rare, rare or better. So this is if you want to emphasize a particular build between Athena and Dionysus. Oh, see, I see. I, I gave each of them a nectar. That's probably why... Uh, that's probably why I um, I have their achievement. You probably, if you get their nectar and get and then give them a nectar and get this item, that's probably when the achievement pops up. That's why. That's probably why it's those two. Yeah, they're the only ones I've given it to. This is tempting. Not only is the twenty-five health potentially nice, but leveling it up so it gives me more and more health would be really nice in the long term. That's a pretty good one. But this is also really good. Oh, the last run I didn't really use the temporary things. But if you're using the temporary things, this is good. I'm pretty sure it used to be plus four and, then, and that now it's plus six, but I can't remember for sure. But if the, if I'm right, then it'll probably be plus eight next. 30 more encounters. Let's do the heart. Let's do the heart. My let's, help. Makes you 50% stronger at the beginning of the run and I'll just keep getting better and better over time. Okay. Well, we're a half an hour in and I'm starting the run. found me, Artemis. 
Let's see if I can get another heart. Artemis, I hope that you'll accept this offering for all your kindness and support. Hey, thank you for this, really. And I've just the thing to offer in return. It's just a gift, okay? Lady Artemis, you honor me. I got a bunch of these to give out now. Artemis. The goddess, I'm I'm so trash though. I for I, I I when I said let's get another heart, I I I mistook. I was thinking of Athena. I was like, whoops, I've made a mistake. Two female uh, warrior goddesses start with A and T and so on. Uh, whoops, but I, I should I should have known who Artemis was. So I have not confirmed this yet. I'm trying to test whether I can get a second heart on the same god with nectar. Because the way the gift icon works it almost looks like it doesn't work that way, but I'm not sure. I'll test it at least once. The goddess of the hunt has always held my highest admiration. Unlike so many of her brethren on Olympus, she seems unconcerned with being praised at every turn by mortals. And instead, she dutifully holds her station as a master of the natural world. These people help me out a lot. So I can try it too once you're up here. There we go. I figured that Artemis showed up because I picked the bow this time. Your attack is stronger and with a 15% chance to do critical damage. Your cast seeks foes with a 10% chance to deal critical damage. Seeks foes? That's kind of neat. Your dash strike deals more damage. Uh, dash strike feels like an awkward concept when I'm using a bow. I feel like just straight up giving my normal attack a crit is probably pretty good for a bow. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Yeah, I just got the prophecy just now when I gave her the gift, so I think that's how it works. Oh, hi. There's some damage. Koronacht, the so-called Heart Seeker. Hey, I've heard of that before. It's certainly the finest bow ever conceived, and wielded once by none other than Mistress Hera, who stood side by side with Zeus, on better terms back then, as they drove back the Titans under a storm of arrows and thunder. The Shield of Chaos, Aegis. Aegis, the Shield of Chaos, is descended from the very Aegis wielded by Lord Zeus and by Athena, his most beloved daughter. The Lord of Thunder defended his brothers and sisters using the very shield when, together, they conspired to drive the Titans back into the lowest reaches of the Underworld. The shield was shattered, yet a burning effigy remains, its power still intact, a power sealed within the visage of a monstrous entity even the Titans feared. I know we have a lot of monster data to read, but I'm kind of skipping on some of that uh, to periodically peek at a few at a time. Don't even have to chase them. Thank you. That's definitely a change. <laughs> the spam. Good for clearing pots. Ah, uh, that was the trap. Hey, another Artemis. More numbskulls. That was a crit. How much damage? Not that much damage. Money? Did I auto-collect it? Oh my god, I'm just one-shotting everything? Was a shotgun blast? Oops. Gotta be a little careful. In the name of Hades. Hmm. Your cast seeks foes. Yes, yeah, the other one. The dash strike's still there. After you cast or hit with an attack or special, fire a seeking arrow. Or hit with an attack or special. Just any attack. It adds a, an extra seeking arrow? That sounds absurd. 
Hmm, gems or nectar. Let's go nectar. I'm trying to I'm trying to stock up on nectar here. Ow! Very smart. Oop. Okay, you can't just tap it. You have to hold for at least a moment. The little the little sneaking arrows. They don't do that much damage, but they're neat. Just in time. Oh crap. So the trick here is or the, the trap here is that I'm definitely more mobile now. Sweet. Alright, I'm less mobile, actually that's what I meant to say. Uh I keep pausing because I have to shoot, so I have to be very careful about when to do that. I can't just like do a quick smack attack and then dash and smack, dash, smack, dash, smack. So uh even the skulls are having an easier time hitting me than normal. And that and the and chip damage is deadly <laughs> in this game. Because it just keeps creeping up on you. There's also a maximum range in my attacks to watch out for. There we go. I need to make sure I play defensively so I don't get too much chip damage as a result of my own mistakes. Okay, so I auto-collect I auto money, that's good. Some of these enemies are dropping money, but it just it just uh, appears into my inventory. My arrow- ow. My arrows take out your projectiles. Is mine are better. Mine are better. Key or experience? I do like having keys. I just want- I want my whole skill tree. I need to know. I need to know. Why am I thinking of that song now? I need to know. <laughs> Don't love the, the spam attack. It's satisfying. It doesn't do anything right now. Maybe eventually I'll replace it with something way better via certain upgrades. Gotta watch out for those hit scan tracking lasers. Do people still call lasers hit scan? I don't know. They're kind of like hit scan. They are instantaneous. Once they make contact. Is there something there to pick up? No. That's a candle. Oh my god, even more Artemis? I mean, like, I want a health upgrade, but like, having... If, if I like the idea of a ridiculous Artemis run where I just have way too many Artemis upgrades. Doesn't hurt that I have the bow this time, so it's like a themed episode. But also... You die first, because I don't want to have two of you anymore. Shotgun blast! That's the va that's the power of that attack. Right? Ooh, it's a crit. Okay, we're good. But, uh, now that we know the achievement thing happens, I think that if I keep getting the same dude over and over again, I can go deeper and deeper down their tree and potentially make progress there, too. Dash strike, that's an epic one. Your call fires a heat seeking, uh, fires a seeking arrow with a plus 35% crit chance. Max gauge bonus, arrows fired 10 instead of 1. Jeez. Uses one stock of your god gauge, or all fives, for a much stronger effect. That's crazy. After you deal a crit to a foe, a foe near it is marked. Which gives you plus 40% critical... I want that too, but uh, this sounds cool, so I shouldn't pass up this. But I also... that crit effect? Artemis. We're gonna be best buds, aren't we? And now I get to upgrade one of these overpowered power abilities? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting used to the control scheme already. It helps that you do physically plant your feet every time you uh, attack anyway, so it's not like I get to, like, be mobile. The moment they give me the ability to, sh to shoot and walk at the same time with a weapon, if that is a thing, I'll be... it'll bother me that, that left... if they don't give me right stick uh, aiming. 
There is not much to eat here in the underworld, conventionally speaking. The pomegranate is a rare exception. Having made its way down to these depths, perhaps alongside the Lord Hades himself, when he first came to this realm aeons ago. Here, this blood-red fruit holds something of a terrifying power. Daedalus Hammer. The master artisan called Daedalus has never, no has never known a peer, so it is little accident that Lord Hades hand-selected him from all the shades residing in the underworld to do his bidding for eternity and for a hollowed place with an Elysium somewhere. I think... I'm pretty sure Icarus needed to escape from somewhere or something. I think Icarus and somebody else both wanted to escape, and I think Daedalus made their wings, but they were warned not to fly too close to the sun because they would melt, and Icarus is the idiot that did that because that's what he's known for is the, is the whole Icarus thing. You know, like from... Uh... Deus Ex, when they reference it 75 times. God's grant me strength. Fire Seeking Arrow. It does two more damage. That doesn't seem worth it at all. In fact, this doesn't seem like a very good ability, but it is amusing. Better crit and damage and so on. Just my attack is better. Artemis' aid. Ooh, higher damage per arrow. Ooh. Uh. Eh. It, up. It's very tempting to upgrade the Artemis cool ability, but the other one is just my attack that I fire all the time. Of course I want to upgrade that. Let's go shopping. I, can use. I don't need any healing, which is great. Get some experience for money. Not the worst ever. Get some speed. I'll, I'll I'll grab a little experience just in the background. Do I want a key or do I want a shop? Not a shop. I have nothing. I can't buy anything. I partly put off this weapon because switching to ranged would have been a, bit, a little bit of a div uh, a big change when I'm getting used to the game, but also because I was slightly afraid that I might never turn back. <laughs> It's like, oh god, what if I really like being ranged? What if I don't want to use other weapons anymore? Let's give this sword a good fair shake before I potentially abandon it. <laughs> Poor guy. I didn't love the shield. I liked the charge attack I had with Poseidon. I don't know if that had that might have had nothing to do with the shield though at all. Um, I do want more renovations. The long term stuff. I mean, those are both long term items. Everything's exploding. Yeah, I, I think... I'm pretty sure the volley works as a shotgun blast. If you fight somebody... Ooh, okay, too many explosions. I'm pretty sure that if you fight somebody that has uh, a large enough mass to them and you'd use that up close, then it, it hits them like more than normal and does a bunch of damage without having to charge it up and all that. Gemstones. Mortals cherish these stones of... Many brilliant colors, going to lengths to excavate them from the earth, to steal them, to be blunt, from the rightful domain of Master Hades. The Master also values them, for light exists in limited supply down here, and light refracted through a gemstone's facets is mo most valuable of all. Only five? It's disappointing use of an entire room. Hmm... These do admittedly give you a lot of money, usually, don't they? Like a hundred? Although we're early again now. I might be thinking of late game stats. Ow. We good? Oh boy. Getting credit. Getting credit. I have to be very careful. Hoop. Because my charge up of my attack that for maximum damage is like roughly equal with how long it takes for them to attack me. Oh, I have the call. Die. 
question. Yeah, it's a it's a hundred. Okay. I'm having some trouble. Uh. Here we go. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'm having trouble charging up the call right now because these fights are pretty easy at the at the beginning. Potentially part of the reason why I was continually not that used to using the mechanic at the beginning of last run because I just genuinely didn't have access to it, but I was having trouble checking because during a big fight it's hard to look at your meter, Must especially when you in chamber I commissioned back at home, especially without the habit. Any of you don't you, don't you guys have gold in you sometimes now? Or not? Dude, my health is full. Shall get this bow back into tip-top shape. Your special pierces foes and deals 400% damage to armor? Oh. Your attack hits up to three foes. Chain shot? Dealing plus 15% base damage for each. Uh. My normal attack is a bounce. Oh, a shotgun blast attack. I want a chain attack. Listen, I really like Chain Lightning. I really like Chain Lightning. So give me my Chain Lightning. Yep, bam. Ah, uh, nice refreshing bath I totally need. This I might make it pretty far this run. Because they're not doing any damage to me. Uh, I could use another boon. Even though I do have money, uh... Oh, this is, this is my last chance to visit a shop before the boss. I don't think I need it that badly, though. Like, the health upgrade. It might be easier to fight this character, although once she, once I have to run from her projectiles, it'll suddenly be harder. Oh, right, I have a, this attack. I haven't even done this a single time. But it's still there. Without upgrades, it might not be worth it. For you, Lady Athena. Without whom I would assuredly be lost. This is an unexpected gesture, cousin. I do appreciate it, though please do not feel obliged. I offer you my friendship, not alone to be repaid. Ah, plus one heart. It does work, okay. She favors those of disposition such as mine, and I would like to think her efforts keep the violent lusting of Ares or half brother well in check. That was already there. Your father Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time, and Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Your attack is stronger and can deflect. Which might be pretty cool when it bounces around. Oh, that would reflect my that would replace my thing though. Your dash deals damage and can deflect. After you take damage, uh, damage bows falls around me. I mean, I'm most likely to get projected probably. Yeah, define define dash. Ooh, it's got a little showiness to it. All right, let's try not. Let's, hopefully, I'm not suddenly bad at this when I have this weapon. Should make it easier. I heard what happened. You crossed the river of flame. You really did it. That Hydra was a total bastard, though. Bastards. But you sound practically impressed with me there, Meg. I feel so flattered. You'll soon feel something else. I don't know how you did it, but it changes nothing. Oh boy. Oh, I went right into the trap. I'm very smart. I used it when she was invincible, so it was wasted. Oh, that was bad. Nope. I'm fucking up. Oh, 
Ah. <laughs> Hey! Big damage. It's really effective. I just choked and took too many hits. I did Not being careful enough with the way, with my new cadence that I have to follow. I lost more than half my health. Oh no. This can unlock a hidden aspect of my weapons. My first boss fight with this weapon, though. It'll take some practice being pursued constantly. Bosses are more aggressive, so the difficulty is very different than a lot of other enemies, where you're just kind of, like, getting to fire on them for free. Let's hear it, Father. Go on to Asphodel and die. Well, that was nice. <laughs> go on. Go die, dummy. Here's my swapper. A new one. Adamant Arrowhead. Next boon you will find will be from Artemis. Oh, so you can, like, pick these over and over again, huh? Huh. Restore 10% health in every chamber. Who? Bonus damage to armor. I think I want to save up for more permanent upgrades. I'm doing okay. Enough Tartarus. Thank you. Love that sulfur smell. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love rotten eggs from hell? Hell, hell rotten eggs. Oh, the bounce shot. I forgot I have that. Yeah. Ow, shit. May I help you? What? bounces back, but it bounces back to its source, so if they move, it doesn't hit anything. Go bounce shot! Yeah! Alright, well, this is working for me. This is working for me? Icarus or Dionysus? Well, Dionysus can give me that, uh, that cast att attack that I like so much. Get hit. Got a near miss. Can you not get to me? There's skellies. Skelly, I thought we were friends. Oh god. Ugh. I guess it put. I, okay, so these vents put out like a, a smoke that makes it so I can't see correctly. Fuck him up. Yep, lava bed. You'll be shocked to find that being in lava is bad. Those guys are kind of tanky. A toast in your honor, Lord Dionysus, mate. Have I mentioned how pleased I am to have made your acquaintance? <laughs> what is that for me? Really? I, I mean, cheers, man. That is awful generous of you. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Hard, hard, hard. Hey, man, I heard Athena had a word with you already, yeah? She's cool, though, once you get to know her. Here, I got something that ought to suit her style. Suit her style. 
Your special inflicts hangover. Ooh, now it does poison damage to everyone that it hits. That is somewhat appealing when I when it goes spamming everywhere. Get a nectar? <laughs> That's just kind of confusing. <laughs> but it gives me maximum health. Using a fountain restores all of your... The fountain fully heals me every time. That's pretty good too. Man. That means that every time I beat a level, I get fully healed. Which admittedly is, is one full heal. Unless I beat Elysium for once. Uh, but the Nectar. The meta progression. You are constantly asked, do you want to make long-term or short-term progression, basically? 18. It might be time to visit a shop. The pomegranate's a bit of a minor. I'm realizing it's kind of minor for a, for a floor. But I haven't bought it. I haven't been to a shop yet today. Hey, Karen, I'm an Asphodel now, aren't I? I'd always heard this was some flower-covered meadow-type place, not such a terrifying hellscape. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, mate. So that's not Hades, Ares. And then next is gonna be Zeus, so that's two boons back to back. Another chance to just get some experience. And a heart. Can I afford both? That'd be 275. I can afford the health up and the Ares. Your special inflicts doom. Take 60 damage after a bit. Your cast sends a blade rift hurtling ahead? Oh, I, remember, I think I remember that. Inflict doom on, on foes around you when you take damage. Hmm. That's not a bad damage spike on my doom, right? Could be good. I didn't necessarily love those options. But hey, I got health. Oh, is this the hard room? Yes. You're not Dusa. You're not Dusa. I know who that is now. Oh, she's gonna be way easier when I don't have to actually be on her to fight her. Having to go up close is a pain. Oh, it doesn't necessarily bounce them right back at her. Is it based on the direction I'm dashing in, or is it based out? Ah, oh, what happened? What happened? Ah! Something went wrong there. Ow. Okay, took more damage than I would like to. Almost got him. There we go. Ooh. That was a damage spike. That's not good. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. I think glancing around, like glancing at my god meter and doing ranged attacks and so on, I might have just had a blind spot moment where I just got snuck up on something. But I had a moment where I feel like I got stuck somehow, but I don't know, I lost touch. Lord Zeus, um, uncle, please accept this offering and all my gratitude. Nephew, that's an offering indeed. I'm thankful for your piety to me, and as a show of generosity to you, in turn, I present this. My thanks, Lord Uncle Zeus. The Thunder Signet. I know just how much you must want out of there, young man. 
And I want that as well. <laughs> Good thing for you, as I get what I want around here. Ask anybody. Zeus usually kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, after you take damage, your foe is struck by lightning. Your god gauge charges up faster when you deal or take... Ta That's pretty good. You, uh, your cast is a burst of chain lightning that bounces between foes. That's also pretty good. I do also like that. I just like my chain lightning type abilities. But that's just a straight up faster god meter, and it doesn't take up any of my slots. Like, that's pretty... It's a pretty good find. Prophecy foretold. Oh, yep. Yep, whenever you meet a new one, they get added in. The master of the heavens, god among gods. So much of my l mortal life was impacted by him, and now, even in death, I serve his brother. I do not think that I have much to say for the Lord Zeus, which is not widely known already. Yeah, that was that was new. I think it, it tells you the... It, it brings up the codex prompt, so look at your codex as if something's new, but what they mean sometimes is just, hey, you made progress. And it, the codex reflects the fact that there's another heart there. But the UI already told me that by having a heart pop up. Bounce shot. Ow! Taking a bit more damage than I'd like. Gotta be careful more. Oh, I wasted that because of the way that health works. I need some healing. I'm not fond of how things are turning out right now. Experience or ge gems, I guess. I'm neglecting my purple. These guys do like dash combos, don't they? I don't want them to close the gap on me. But if I can keep them together, then they'll sh I'll get a ton of chain damage. Yes. The cluster shots. Yes. It's like a horde mode. You're just like controlling the mass. Go, the hive is dead. There's so many heat sticking shots. They do so little damage, but there's there's one for every shot, so it definitely adds up over the course of the run. That's more gems this time. That's good. My poor health may tire. A shop I can't afford much at, or Icarus. I could afford healing at the shop, though. Mmm. Mmm. Is it a free Icarus? It is. Oh, that, yeah, that was the last shop before the boss. The shop's usually... This boss usually isn't that hard. But planting my feet could get me in danger. So we'll see how that goes. I forgot to give a gift. Whoops. What's going on there, cuz? Can I call you, cuz? Got something here for you? Should make your battles to the death end that much quicker. Hold cast to fire in rapid succession? Ooh. After using call, gain dodge chance and move speed for 10 seconds. Bows drop, the thing's stuck in them faster. These aren't great. This is, like, I like the Athena's call, so having... 30% dodge chance could be nice. I feel like it's gonna make me plant my feet, isn't it? I don't really want to plant my feet to do a... Mm, I'm torn. Let's do this one. Who felt that? 
It's not my favorite cast. I want Dion Dionysus's but one, but he didn't give it to me. Not this time. A diamond? I'm not allowed to spend those yet. All right, let's not let's not choke. Wait, is this? No, it's the same one. Different. Oh, I don't like that. What do you mean different? Wait, no. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. What was that? What was that? Ow! Shit. That was a really bad mistake on my part. That hit me? I'm out of range. Are those? I think those are eggs. I think you, that might spawn a new Hydra. Is this a new version of Hydra where he, span, he sp tries to spawn more? But this this still happens. Okay. Ah, shit. Did that wrong. Ah! That was stressful. I could not commentate at all. It's just too many enemies. It's just, it's such a chaotic fight that I'm like, I can't, I can't, I need to go. Ooh. Single targeting with an attack where I have to plant my feet. Yeah. 
It's very different from spamming melee attacks and then just dashing around. I th I couldn't tell what the eggs did, but I'm suspecting that they hatched the little dudes. Because I, I eventually realized he was still throwing eggs while I was dealing with all the other heads. And at that point, he pro they, they probably snuck by me. So I'm guessing the little eggs hatched the skeletons that tried to melee me. Because those were a problem. Because yeah, once there's that much going on with all the heads, scary. I think I've still never lost to him. I guess I've heard he's like a... He's like a barrier for people or something. But he's not so bad. Alright, so I'm, I'm healed up, but I lost an entire thing, which sucks. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Nope, I lost an entire thing. My revive. Technically, I did die to him, but not all the way. Not the real one. Not that the real one's real either, because I just come back anyway. I guess it's as real as death is. I've returned. For me. Alright, let's lose an Elysium again, alright? Am I right? Haha, <laughs> heart. Ooh, those are easier to kill. Oh my god, they're way easier to kill. The chain attack. They also kill themselves, admittedly. Oh, he's tanky. Don't like that. Dude, they're super tanky, okay. <laughs> that'll, that'll do it though. That's a relief. Speedy. I guess we're getting money this time. I think that was the only door. Hey guys. Oh, these guys might be weird. Yeah, one of the, one of them is a shield. Shield guy might be a problem for me. I feel like I'm behind on the damage curve right now. It does take a lot of hits to kill these guys. That might just be the challenge level of this world. Round two. Screw you, butterfly. Oh, it didn't even work that well. Ooh, that clears them out. Dude, things are tanky in this chapter. Ugh. There we go. Money, getting paid. Oh, it's a phoenix statue. That's why it comes back when it dies. Even a even the image of a phoenix has phoenix properties. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Strong upgrade or big health? That's a big. Uh, that's a tough call. Because hammers seem better than. The hammer does seem to be a better upgrade, more impactful at least, <laughs> impactful hammer, uh, than a uh, pomegranate. Which is enjoyed, but not amazing. You'll never turn down a pomegranate, but I'm not sure if seeking them out is the best practice when the alternatives are often like, get an entire new boon instead of a slight upgrade to an existing one. But hey, if your build's focused enough, then maybe you really want the upgrades. Dude, I'm... The Athena dash is very nice. I can specifically go out of my way to intercept projectiles to send them back. At this point, I'm pretty sure the way that the projectiles work when you deflect them. Oh, my right trigger is so good. It doesn't do, I, I don't love the damage on it, but specifically like these butterflies are my nemesis and I can just clear them all out. I don't think that's new. 
whatever. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I think the way that projectiles work, deflections work, is that you send the projectile back in the direction it was coming from. So, if an enemy sends it at you and you deflect it and it was moving in a straight line and the enemy has not moved, then it will hit them. But, uh, I think I was having had issues with like the Medusa and some other guys. If they have, if they have seeking projectiles, it sends them backwards in the from the compared to the direction that they were going in at the time they hit you, which because they turn will not take them back to the enemy. But it might hit something else. But yeah, but yeah, if it's a straight projectile, then it goes right back where it came from. It does not seem to be dependent on my dashing direction. This spell could use a little fine tuning. Attack three times in a spread pattern while also having bouncing shots. It doesn't say it'll replace it, so I assume it complements it. Your power shot is easier to execute and does 150% more damage. <laughs> oh, hold RB and release when you see a brief flash for a stronger shot. Oh, I'm, I've been doing that wrong, haven't I? There's a perfect release time. This makes it easier to do and do even more damage. Your special deals plus three base damage for each consecutive hit on the foe. To a foe? So if I shotgun it under one guy, then then it does amplified damage. I, I gotta do the spread, right? The deadliest bow of all. It's a well, that's a really big spread. I was expecting a narrower spread than that. But those are old chain shots, right? Like you didn't take that from me, did you? I still have chain shot from the other Daedalus upgrade. So they all bounce three times doing bonus damage while also being three shots. So I can hit up to nine enemies per uh, shot with my normal attack. There it is, so. I think I've been hitting that on, like, naturally here and there, because it's just like the full. It's. Yeah, it's when the arrows finish spreading. So it, that's when I'm trying to aim it anyway, because I know that that's. I know that the longer you charge it, the, st the stronger your damage is. Intuitively, so I think I've been intuitively releasing it when it when it finishes anyway, because I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. Okay. Ooh, boon or money? I have a lot of money actually. Could always do them with more money, but more boons are good. Now that we know how often how many passives become available over time, in particular. The mother of all soul catches. Jokes on you! I can do this. Oh, it's this room. The dickhead room. Not a shit damage. Oh, this is such a hard room. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, it's a butterfly that's- it's a butterfly spawner that also spawns eggs. The egg eyes. Yeah, last time it snowballed so hard. I still didn't do great. I took damage bad, but I didn't die. Uh, God, I hate that. Yeah, that thing is Satan. Because not only does it spawn all the butterflies like crazy like always, and it's armored, so it's really hard to kill, but it also <laughs> keeps spawning those eyeball eggs that keep spawning new enemies, and so it, it keeps snowballing. And last time it snowballed so hard, because it's hard to, it's hard to melee the butterfly thing, because it's spawning stuff directly in your face. Uh, it snowballs up to a point where there's too many eyes that are turning into too many enemies, and then once there's an, once enough of those enemies get free and you're not clearing clearing them fast enough, then even when you defeat one, it turns into an eyeball that that's difficult to kill in time before it just respawns because so many enemies are around that you can't get the opening to finish the eyeball off. Nice to get revenge against that one. Your cast damages foes in a small area and can deflect. Your abilities that can deflect also makes the foes exposed. 
Makes them take more damage. One struck from behind. Ah, that's not really my thing. Ooh, a bonus deflect damage. That's pretty strong. Oh, it tells me which ones are a faded choice, so it tells me which ones... Ah, uh, it tells me which ones are achievement progress without me having to check. God, Super Giant are so good at this. <laughs> They're so good at this. I'm like, ah, oh, just what if I... I don't want to keep track of these lists. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Like, we got you, buddy. We think about everything. <laughs> and we always cover every base. We make virtually perfect games. Jesus Christ, this company. Like, every little detail. Mmm. Like, I could do with a better cast. My cast is just the normal one, so this is tempting. And I kind of want to see what it looks like, but my deflections being stronger is pretty good. But if I get this, then if I come back and get this later, this will be even stronger, because -er, my thing will do something. Yeah. Let's see what it does. I have three of them. Oh, it's a travel time projectile! That means it incre has an increased chance of actually getting deflections done and stuff. Ooh, Hades or Heart. I could use the health a little bit. I don't have any more revives. Oh, those shields. Those dreaded shields. I knew these shields are going to be a problem with this. Ow, that hit me. Shit. Can't block that, can you? I hope. Dude, that was bad. Oh, it's not over. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. I just blew my stuff. I gotta be very cautious. Don't let them hit me ever. Be very cautious. I'll have 25 health in a moment. Big hits, big hits. <laughs> the bushes! Oh fuck, that hit me. Oh shit. Don't get hit by anything, don't get hit by anything. One hit kills me. Yes. What do we have here? <sighs> I'm gonna 29 health! Shop, 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 <gasps> shop. Heal me. Please have healing. I demand healing. <sighs> Why do you do this to me? Fuck. Well, I'm about to die then, so let's talk out. I need. I see the Griffin of the Underworld has found the means to reach you with my blessing, nephew. Such strange alliances we forge these days. After you take damage, your foe is struck by lightning. I'm. <laughs> That's not going to trigger much because I'm about to die. You do more damage after using call. After you dash just before you get hit, bolt strikes nearby foes for only 20. Uh, I guess bonus damage after call. That's not great. Random upgrade. Divine dash plus one. And some resources. Ooh. Ooh, neither of those are going to heal me either. All right. Uh, pomegranates just aren't great. If I'm about to die, 
I get at least one boon immediately, so that's more progress in the long term. And maybe two boons. And maybe I can even turn it around. I don't know. <sighs> the chip damage is so strong in this game. Just the fact that you just... Every little mistake keeps building up. Oh, not this room. This room... Uh, there's a lot of traps in this room. That's not great. One of them's going to be mad. Uh, who do I want to piss off? Do the, do the, is it just normal enemies or are the enemies themed after... Hmm. Zeus versus Dionysus. Is it... I'm trying to remember what how it went with Athena. Do they send attacks that are themed after it or just normal enemies really? Because chain hitting getting hit by chain lightning or poison would be really bad for me. Overall. Uh Dionysus always has better stuff, I guess. I can't give either of them my uh my thing. I already did it. Ooh. Ooh, the full heal. This could save me. Oh, the, and this one also. Hmm. This could be my reward for surviving this encounter is getting some heal back. Because per fountain, I won't get a fountain until after the boss fight, right? I don't think you get fountains till after boss fights. Will this be my second time of getting after party and then not having it trigger because I die before? Oh, after encounters. I have to beat the next level too for it to trigger. But 15% reduced damage just isn't going to save me necessarily. Even though it would be the most effective in this fight. Do I just go big or go home? That could revive this playthrough. Blessing isn't good enough for you. Is that the way of it, young man? How impetuous of you! I never. Please survive this room. I hate to do this, Uncle. Not shields. Looks like I ain't oh God! I already got hit by something. Fuck! I didn't know. No! No! Oh no! Zeus is the worst. I've made a huge mistake. Fuck. I have to directionally attack these guys while avoiding trap. Oh fuck! I'm so fucked. I'm so sorry, everyone, but this isn't happening. No, this is so hard. There's no way. There's no way. Not become ruler of Olympus by forgiving trespasses, young man. That was like the worst thing that could have ever happened. I'm back. Get Okay, so they throw regular enemies at you while you get hit by a themed attack by the enemy. And in Zeus's case, it's continually raining lightning. I don't remember what Athena's did. I don't remember at all. Wow. Dick move. That was rough. <sighs> ah. The playthrough is feeling really good, too. For a while there. I feel like well, I did make it pretty far. But, uh, that could have gone better. That could have gone better! 